So, uh, question and answer time. Anybody got a question? Yes. You said something about being careful about asking questions while you're on stage. Yeah, questions. Questions are an interesting thing. Um, See, it's it's a rule of thumb that I have. There's no real law or anything against that. Uh, one is, please don't ask the question when you first get on stage, hi, how you all doing this evening? Because every friggin' comic in the world asks that question, and they don't care. What they're doing is, they're, try they're trying to, f you're using an obligatory phrase to greet the audience. So, let's find places for you. Walk out and go, hello, good evening, I'm a little nervous tonight, I'm glad to be here, my name's Greg. Start your show. You want to greet the audience, just not with a question, especially when it's a question that you don't care about. You don't care how they're doing. Okay, so that's one of them. The other one is a question as a segue. Okay, question as a segue or as a way of bringing up a new topic where people go, how many people here, how many people here are single? How many people here are married? How many people here went to college? How many people saw the movie blah, blah, blah? Uh, one. You're, anytime you ask a question, you're inviting the audience into your show. You, you, you think it's a rhetorical question, but they may not. Uh, they, may, they may start answering you and want to have a conversation with you because you brought them in. Well, here's what a lot of comic, beginning comics especially don't understand. There's kind of this social unwritten law that if you ask a question and you invite me into your show, You'll basically take care of me and make sure I'm all right. Doesn't mean I'm not going to embarrass you or kid you or do something, but you're really not going to, you know, slap them down. Okay? Uh, there's that social contract. So as soon as you ask a question, you've entered into a contract that a lot of people aren't ready to deal with. Okay? That's one. The other side to it is that if if your joke requires a particular answer in order to work, okay? A lot of people ask questions, especially that one, how many people here or whatever, have you guys seen, you know, did you guys go to something or a, and the answer yes is required for the joke to go forward. And they don't get it. You know, like, you know, how, how, many, how many people saw, you know, uh, Iron Man? Because the person's got an Iron Man bit. And nobody raises their hand. What do you do? Because uh, 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 you've asked a question that requires a certain answer. I think that's just a bad idea in general. Now, the, take the place of, of questions as bringing up a topic. I always say just state your premise. Okay? Your negative opinion about your subject. What are you talking about? What's your position on it? So you come out and say, you know, you know, Iron Man was a terrible movie. You know, Iron Man, whatever it is, what, state it. Now you don't have to ask that question. We know what you're talking about. We know what your position is. Move forward. That's the way almost all uh, routines should start anyway. Uh, the other thing about asking questions is if you do want to ask a question, uh, and I say that you've, you've got to be ready with uh, what I call options. <laughs> okay. Fine, I do need to ask a question, so what do I do if they say yes? Oh, I go on with the routine. What do I do if they say no? I know, oh, you know, I've got to have a rebuttal for that. That's the option. What if nobody says anything and nothing happens? You should be prepared with a comment for that. If they tell you to go away from me and stop fucking talking to me, I don't want to be a part of your show, how do you handle that? Because those things will come up. Okay? You need to have those options to fill in those questions because, again, you've invited them into your show. You're responsible for taking care of them, even giving them an answer to the, giving them an answer, to, uh, uh, the answer you don't want. You want to have a rebuttal back to it. Um, the last thing is, I personally believe, you know, that the only reason to ask a question on stage is to riff, to do crowd work. Personally, I mean, you know, it's, again, it's a rule of thumb, but I think it's a safe choice for everybody, is just don't ask any questions unless you really want a response and you want an interaction with the people that you're talking to, okay? You really want that. Most of the time people ask questions, they don't want an interaction, they're doing it rhetorically, okay? So they can bring up a subject or, you know, bring whatever they want to do, etc. 
And they're wasting valuable stage time, especially if people start to talk to them, you know, uh, and everything. So don't ask a question unless you really want to riff. You want to do the crowd work. You want to interact with the audience. That's great. That's fine. I think it's one of the really most important skills that you guys can do. So the idea is don't, don't ask questions in the comics cliches in the opening. Uh, don't ask questions to bring up a topic matter. Make sure you have your options. And maybe not ask any questions at all unless you want to do crowd work. 